2020 Kia Nero PHEV plug-in hybrid. The Kia Nero came out about four years ago as a hybrid. It is a very high functioning hybrid with mileage in the 50s. Uh, I experienced it. This is the plug-in version, which means you get about 25 miles of electric only mode. We're driving on electric only right now as you drive around town. 25 miles and then you plug it in uh, overnight and you charge it up again uh, but then it reverts to gasoline and then you're able to go on long trips like we're going to go on a, a longer trip today up to Placerville so it's a Kia Nero plug-in hybrid there's also a Kia Nero electric total electric EV and I have not had a chance to drive that I'm looking forward to that but a couple cool things about this interior of the Nero is as Judy pointed out it's a nice flat surface you don't have things popping up like a, a tablet looking thing or, or other things to clutter up the dashboard it's nice and smooth not only that but the whole front is smooth it's all blended in it's it's level so it's like one big screen although you don't really have anything here but this is a beautiful screen that's built in that's just totally a part of the dashboard So I love electric vehicles. This is a partially electric vehicle. This is the plug-in hybrid. Now the biggest problem I have with electric vehicles, while I love electric vehicles, is the infrastructure. How many charging stations do you have and how long does it take to charge if there is one available? As you can see, we've got several charging stations up and down this block. But as you can also see, we've got several cars taking up spaces and charging. It might be fast charging, so it might take 30, 45 minutes, might take longer. I don't know. Here's the other problem. The infrastructure doesn't always match the plug. So I've tried both plugs on this EVGO charging station, and neither of them fit the plug on this Kia Nero. So in spite of the fact that there being three, five, six charging stations here at the EVGO station. I am not finding any that fit my vehicle. Well, unfortunately, this is a hybrid, so I have plenty of gas. As a matter of fact, I've got over 270 miles range on the regular gas engine. So while I try to figure this out, I might as well point out that this is the EX Premium edition this has got a 1.6 liter four cylinder engine this has got a six speed automatic transmission with sport mode and paddle shifters right here on the steering wheel and of course with that ev assist you've got a real quick startup and torque and that makes it really fun to drive and it's very comfortable to drive i should say the, the seats i'm finding are are kind of like racing seats they're they're comfortable but i would like a little more um uh, lumbar support in mine. What I do love about driving this is that there's these mirrors that flip in and out. You can easily close them up so it makes it easier for me to get into my garage, which is pretty well uh, tight, you know, for uh, any vehicle. But uh, I love having the flip in mirrors. Um, there's a, another wonderful thing about this car is it's got a Harman Kardon sound system with Clarify, and it really makes the sound, it's like it, it takes that compressed digital sound and, and opens it back up to the way it should be, the way it's, you know, original. Clarifies, basically, cleans up the music and makes it nice and pretty. Look, Ma, no hands. This is the Kia Nero, and it's, I'm using the driver assist package, which includes adaptive cruise control, keep me from a safe distance of the car in front of me, and lane keeping assist 
And as you can see, I'm on the freeway and I don't have my hands on the wheel. I expect that it's going to give me a warning to put my hands on the wheel, but so far it has not. And I've driven for a few minutes now, hands-free. This is not what you should try at home, by the way, but it is an example of how close we are coming to self-driving car. Welcome to the future. Self-driving cars are right around the corner and in fact, right in front of me right now. don't make much noise and so there are built-in noise makers to alert pedestrians and it includes a backup beep 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 that is this really a, a, a sort of an electronic truck backing up that's kind of annoying when you're backing up but it keeps people from walking behind you so you, you know they know you're coming when you're going forward up to about 25 miles an hour there's this hum this electrical hum that uh, it makes so that it, it has to make a sound so people know that the electric car is coming. So these are some of the things we're gonna have to deal with when we have electric cars coming more and more into the marketplace. We're gonna deal with infrastructure, charging stations available and working. Uh, we have to deal with sounds. You're gonna be very silent, which is a nice thing, but not so nice if you're a pedestrian and you don't hear a car coming. So just new world problems that we're gonna have to deal with when we are moving into the electric transportation era. MSRP for the 2020 Kia Niro PHEV EX Premium. This one was $36,390. It totaled out at $37,790 for this SUV, this small SUV. Nice hatchback, plenty of cargo room, great fuel mileage, and a fun car to drive. I love Kias. I love electric vehicles. I'm learning to love the infrastructure that is necessary to keep these electric vehicles charged.